and welcome to Leon's cooking show. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Asian grill with uh, vegetable black. Okay, this is what you're going to do for a dry rub. You're going to get some basil and the ratio of fresh herb to dry herb is 3 to 1. So if in your recipe it says 1 tablespoon dry, you could replace it with 3 tablespoons of fresh herbs. So I have fresh basil, I'm going to use that. Then I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of mint. And this is, I have some homemade dried mint. You could just buy this. And break it up with your fingers. Try not to put stalks. So just I'm using apple mint, you could use whatever. Whatever you like. Okay. And for this rub you're gonna need very important five spice powder. It's a Chinese all purpose seasoning. And you're gonna need some sweet paprika or smoked paprika. You're gonna need some garlic powder, some ginger powder, salt, and some red pepper. I'm using cayenne. Okay, here's the ratio. So one tablespoon of mint, one tablespoon of basil, and you're gonna need half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using pink salt here. Half a teaspoon of the five spice powder. This stuff smells really good. Has cinnamon, mostly cinnamon. Put half a teaspoon of paprika. Now for the pepper, you're going to take a quarter teaspoon. Same goes for ginger and garlic. A quarter is enough. Stuff goes a long way. And try to use organic if you have it. It's not that expensive. It's maybe like 50 cents to a dollar more. So just mix this up. Get your steaks. Wash them and pat them dry. Take your dry rub. Apply it generously. You want to use all of it. Both sides. and just press into the meat so you're gonna you're gonna cover this and put it in your fridge let it marinate for however long you want you could do this uh, overnight or you could do this half an hour um, I like to do it 
right before I do the vegetables. So as you're prepping your vegetables, this could marinate. Welcome back. Okay, for your stir fry, you're gonna need a wok, and you're gonna need two cloves of garlic. You're gonna need about an inch of fresh ginger, about one onion, and cut it into these semicircles, and also mushrooms, quarters. For your broccoli, you're gonna cut it into florets, kind of like a spear floret. What I do is I just cut it into quarters. And you're going to need eggplant and kind of like these triangle shapes. Okay. So put your wok on about medium. And you don't need to go too crazy on the heat right now. And first we're going to we're going to make the flavored oil. So add about equal parts canola and olive oil you can use peanut oil or corn oil whatever you like so while this heats don't wait for it to heat just add your ginger and garlic right away now you want to cook this on low very low. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to flavor the oil. I think we're going to need more oil for this. You could add crushed black pepper. It's not necessary, but I like it, so just have some. Okay, while your oil is getting nice and flavored, we're going to set up the grill. Now, if you have a real grill outside, I suggest you do that. But if you're at home, just get a nice cast iron grill. Put it on a medium. Or medium high, whatever you like. And um, before you do this, rub it with some oil so your meat doesn't stick. Now the way you check if your grill is hot, is just take some water and just throw it on your on your grill. When it starts sizzling, it's hot. It's the easiest way and it's safe. Okay, this is looking good right now. So, we're gonna add your onions and mushrooms. I'm gonna put it in high. Your onions and mushrooms have been cooking for a couple minutes. So they just just sweat them, put them on medium low, and your grill is hot. Get your meat. Lay it out. Okay, you're going to grill this for about 4 minutes each side. And now that you grill it, you don't need them to try to heat. So that's good. Just don't move your meat around. When you're grilling, it's the best thing is just to leave it on one side. A couple of minutes later, turn it around. Don't keep moving it. Alright, you see how this is 
starting to become translucent. You're going to add the rest of your vegetables now. And just, every once in a while, just toss it. There you go. That's going to be ready in 10 minutes. And this is going to be ready in 10 minutes. So you're going to eat it together. Your vegetables have been cooking for about 5 minutes. So every once in a while, just toss them. And your meat has been cooking for about 5 minutes. So let's check our meat. Get nice grill marks on it. So flip it around. This is going to be another five minutes. And for your vegetables, we're going to do the sauce right now. First, get some nice soy sauce. Add about about two or three tablespoons then you're gonna get mirin it's like a Japanese sweet wine add about a tablespoon is fine and finally you're going to get some fish sauce. About a half a tablespoon. Stuff's pretty strong so don't, don't overdo it. And to finish this off, we're going to add a tablespoon of sesame oil. Finally combine it. It's been about 10 minutes and I want to show you how you tell if your meat is done. So, see how some of the pieces are thicker, some are thinner. You just you press it down and depending on if it pops back and how much it pops back. Like if you press this down, you see how it's soft right here? And this one is hard. So the thinner meat is, is cooked. This took 10 minutes. It's done. You take this off. This one too. But these two, they're going to need longer. So just press them over right here. And you can turn the back one off. So I would cook these for another five minutes. Now your vegetables. Keep tossing them every few minutes. And the way you tell it it's done is you take an eggplant and just try it. If it's crunchy, it's not done yet. So cook it for another five minutes. This is what the finished product looks like. Enjoy!